Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where today I am going to provide you with my thoughts on the recent ATGM changes, the minimum arb distance changes. It's been a week as of this recording. I had the flu. You can tell from my voice that I still am slightly not, well, slightly under the weather still. Not 100%, but I'm going to give this recording a shot. Hopefully my voice hangs in there for the duration of this video. So, everything I'm about to say is based on a week's worth of experience. That's only a week, it's not a month, it's not six months, so time changes things, but I will give you my thoughts on the update so far. The gameplay in Era 2 and Era 3 has improved, so much so that it has saved the game for me. I was waiting on this update to come out because I really wasn't sure whether or not I was going to carry on playing this game. It was in a state that was not good, we'll say. But this update has saved it for me. It has saved me uninstalling. It has saved me from quitting as a CC. So from my point of view, it's a big deal. This update is a big deal. And it has saved the game to the point where I am actually now enjoying playing Era 3. And I'm enjoying playing Era 3 for the first time in about a year, year and a half. Era 2 plays more tactically, team spreads are generally more balanced, and 80% of the team is alive within the first two minutes, which is good because typically the game would be almost over by two minutes. ATGM lights now fit the scouting role much better, and they are more reliant on the main armament, which is good, very good. They're more reliant on their guns than they are on their ATGMs. This is particularly true for tanks like the Sheridan, and I very rarely used the heat or AT, um, the heat or high explosive rounds in the Sheridan, I always use the ATGMs, but now I find myself using the other ammunition types a lot more, which is very, very nice, because light tanks needed some variety, and now they have some variety, which I very much like. Light tanks have to be played more thoughtfully now, and it takes more skill to do well, particularly when playing at closer ranges. Era 3 is in a much better place. So that was Era 2. Era 3 is in a much, much better place now. The game pace has slowed and games are lasting much, much longer. I have had many games in Era 3 this week that have lasted longer than five minutes, which is, to date, unheard of. <laughs> so that is absolutely wonderful. In, in a similar fashion to Era 2, Era 3 ATGM lights now find themselves relying more on thought-out tactics rather than the cowboy tactics. Well, just generally cowboy tactics in Era 3, but light tanks especially. Another surprising side effect of, eight of the ATGM change in Era 3 is that tanks like the M8 AGS, the VFM and the Premium AGS now seem to have their place. And I have had several games in those tanks that have been very very enjoyable these tanks feel competitive now and that is wonderful to me because it means that the variety that i have in my garage is now actually competitive in game i've always had these tanks in my garage i've just very rarely played them because really there was just no point they were so underwhelming so lackluster why play them that was essentially what the game used to be for me now it's like okay i've got more variety at my fingertips and that goes a little way to restoring the sandbox feel of the game, which is really what I want the game to get back to. I want the game to get back to the sandbox feel that it used to have. The minimum arm distance changes to ATGMs has done many things to the game, but one thing it has done, in my opinion, is highlight the urgent need for larger Cold War maps. This need is noticed particularly by ATGM only vehicles. Tactics and a well thought out gameplay approach can only get you so far when the limiting factor is the playable area. In some scenarios, the engagement is less than 65 meters and that is not by player choice. Mountain Pass and the town area of Siegfried Line, Siegfried Line sorry, are but two examples of what I'm talking about. The cap, some I think, the, I believe the cap in Siegfried Line, when it's, uh, I forget the name of the game mode, the cap is in the middle of the town. If you're in an ATGM tank, it's not going to be 65 meters or 100, 100 meters. It just isn't. 
and you need to reset you want to be sensible you've got a 20 second reload there's just nothing you can do it's very very difficult so we need bigger maps that mean that tanks like the ATGM only tanks are not defenseless if we had maps that meant there was really no reason to be closer than 150 to 200 meters from your target then the minimum arm distance would be absolutely no issue but that's not what we have the minimum arm distance mechanic can work but the environment in which it is currently utilized is inadequate i would say the minimum arm distance also brings up a new problem we've all seen it we've all seen these games in the past era three last two weasels left alive typically they're going to well not typically they're to kill each other they're going to be within 65 meters but they can no longer hit for 1400 and even if you do pull off a hit we're down to 300 damage within the 65 meter limit and that 300 will only count if the shot pens because we all know how notorious the weasel is for bouncing shots that it shouldn't so are we meant to wait a full eight to ten minutes watching these two have at it essentially slapping each other with leather gloves uh, are we supposed is this what we're supposed to do now like are we supposed to sit here and just watch this um you know think is it borat there's a scene in borat where they're slapping each other with leather gloves that that's the kind of picture i have in my mind of like is, is this what the game is going to be now <laughs> um it it just doesn't feel like this was quite thought through well enough and speaking of things that i don't think were thought through well enough um, some of the arm distance don't make sense to me. Weasel, 65 meters. Rakuten, 100 meters. Both ATGM only vehicles. One is incredibly good, the Weasel. The other is Botma Vera 2. But the good one gets 65 meters and the difficult one gets 100 meters. Um, now this example I know may be a slight oversight on Wargaming's part, but the point does still stand. BMP3, 100 meters. M3A2, 65 meters. Two Tech Tree ATGM and Auto Cannon tanks. But the BMP3 gets 100 meters and the Bradley gets 65. Um, <clears throat> both have similar play styles and they're different. It, I don't fully understand how we've arrived at two different values. And what's happened with these changes, these eight minimum, minimum, minimum arm distance changes, is the effectiveness of ATGMs has been reduced. So, wargaming, another oversight I think that's been, that happened here is you've, you've reduced the effectiveness of one weapon system, but you've not buffed the other one. And for many of these tanks, the close range defense is the autocannon. Now, prior to this update, the auto cannons on the Bradley and the BMP3 were they were utter garbage, really. I mean, the BMP3 is yeah if you're firing gold. The Bradley is just utterly useless. It's inaccurate, can't pen a flipping paper bag, and the the alpha per shot is terrible on both of them. Um, their ATGMs were their main armament, but they've been they've been nerfed essentially. But you've not buffed the autocannons. Um, I mean, the Bradley was a damp sock. The autocannon on the Bradley was a damp sock before this update. Now, it's it's just highlighted that it's it. All right, you know, it was bad before. Now it is utterly awful. <laughs> so, um, I, I do think I appreciate you bringing balance to one side, but you, you, you've got a you've you've taken, but you've not given. I love the part. Damage? I love the part where the Bradley is such a good tank. Yeah. I love the part where. It, well, I, I just love the part where that amazing Bushmaster does bugger all. That's the point I'm making. Um, so, yeah, as a matter of urgency, the auto cannons do need to be buffed because, in reality, auto cannons are they're formidable. Then the, the Bushmaster is formidable, uh, but in game it is utterly worthless it's 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 just garbage um so i really do think that that needs to be addressed and quickly so please 
yeah, please, please, please do address that quickly because uh, Era 3 light tanks needed some love, but now they really, really do need some love. Era 3 finds itself in a peculiar position. The games are lasting longer, hit points are lasting longer, but the wolf pack mindset is still there. And but well, I, I say still there, it's still there to an extent. Based on my observation, the typical Era 3 game starts like it always has. The majority of the team looks for the massive green on the minimap and then they just follow it. But they follow it until the momentum runs out and the lemming train just grinds to a halt halfway around the map. What I suspect is happening is newer players, and by newer players I mean players that have been playing for two years or less, they've had enough time to grind all the way up to Era 3, get the top tech tree tanks, and all they've known in Era 3 is the YOLO Wolfpack mindset. Now that Era 3 has slowed down and the play approach is different, these people have no idea what to do. They don't know how to think tactically at Era 3. They've never learnt the tactical positions in Era 3. They've never learnt Era 3 lines of sight or Era 3 positions of cover. And that's not their fault. They never needed to. They never had to play Era 3 tactically. Not like for anyone that's been playing for you know three, four years. You remember the early days of Era 3, there were tactics involved. But that kind of got swept away with the introduction of the Weasel. Now that things have been reversed slightly, we have players that are at the pinnacle of the game, but the skill level feels like tier 4. Um, it is peculiar, I will be honest. It does feel very odd to be at the highest level of the game playing with people that don't seem to have a clue what they're doing. Um, but my hope is that time will change this. I'm hoping that over time teams will learn how to play tactically and I hope that this is ushering in the beginning of the era 3 restoration process that is my hope okay folks that is all I've got for this one let me know what your thoughts are on the new minimum arm distance changes below I did run a poll on my channel and I roughly 75% of people that voted are happy with the changes 25% aren't but 75% is a decent majority so Overall, this change does seem to be positive. But again, we'll see how we'll see how time changes things. So, if you've enjoyed this video, leave it a like. If not a dislike, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one.